Psychology indicates that long-term emotional suppression can lead to memory issues, not because someone is inherently forgetful, but because the brain protects itself by disconnecting from overwhelming feelings. This is a dissociative response. People walk into rooms and forget why, not from distraction, but from emotional overload. Whole chapters of childhood can feel blurry, as if watching life from outside one's own body. Concentrating while reading becomes nearly impossible, not due to disinterest, but because the nervous system stays in a constant, low-level survival mode, always scanning, rarely settling. People may re-watch old videos or re-read old texts to reconnect with what they were feeling at the time, or, after years of being the strong one, struggle to recall their true emotions during pivotal moments. This isn't traditional forgetfulness. When emotional expression is chronically stifled by environment, upbringing, or survival patterns, the brain can rewire itself. The limbic system, especially the amygdala and hippocampus, begins to function differently under ongoing emotional suppression. Emotions are perceived as threats, and memory can become collateral damage. Some minds learn to store facts while erasing feelings, not due to a lack of depth, but because depth felt dangerous. In these cases, memory adapts to protect. Restoring emotional connection isn't dramatic or instant. It starts with presence, letting the nervous system know it's safe to feel without shutting down. For some, that means body-based practices, grounding, breathwork, or somatic tracking. For others, it's about narrating small truths. That made me uncomfortable. There was sadness there. The mind doesn't recover through force, it returns through gentle permission.